Apple's preview application has some very interesting tools for annotating a PDF. Here's how to use them. I've opened my PDF into preview. I'm going to go to the tools menu and make sure that I have the text tool selected. I might like to draw a circle of some kind around something on my page. Come back to the tools menu, annotate, add oval. You can't actually really add a circle. My cursor now turns into a crosshair. I can simply click and drag on my page to create an oval. I can keep dragging to change the shape and size to some extent. This has drawn a red oval around the uh, text that I have here, but perhaps I don't like red, or I might like the line to be thicker or thinner, or rather than a solid line, perhaps I'd like a dashed line. While the oval is still selected, I go to the Tools menu and call up the Inspector window. I make sure that the Inspector window is open to the Annotations Inspector. To change the colour, I click on the colour panel. That calls up a standard colour window. I have happened to have some colours saved down here. I'm going to choose one of them. And now my line colour is changed. Perhaps I don't like the thickness of three pixels. I'll remove that, perhaps 10 might be better. Now I can press the Tab key or the Enter key or the Return key to make it take effect. That solid line looks a bit heavy. I might prefer a dashed line. Check the dashed box and that's now somewhat better. I'll close the Annotations Inspector and click somewhere else on the page to stop the oval from being selected. If I want to change it though, I can simply double click on it and it's selected again. I can move it, change the size or even delete it if I want. You can also draw rectangles rather than ovals. Come back to the Tools menu, make sure that the Text tool is still selected. Come to Annotate, Add Rectangle and it's exactly the same process. Click and drag. Change the line size, the line colour or whether it's solid or dashed in the same way that you did for the oval. Another possibility is to link from a particular word or a particular image to something else. Still with the text tool selected, come to the Tools menu, Annotate, Add Link. This will highlight any existing links in the document, but now I might choose perhaps to select a particular word. I'm going to select this word Preview here and allow that to be a link in my document. Once again, the Annotations Inspector is what I need. I can choose whether I want to make a link within the PDF, perhaps to another page, or to a web page out there in the world. Let's link this one to a web page. So I, for the action, I choose Earl. It happens to have come up with apple.com. I'm happy with that. I'll choose Set Earl. That link is now set to open the Apple web page. Now I might like perhaps to make another word linked to something else, perhaps within the PDF. Making sure I still have my text tool selected, I'm going to come to the Tools menu, Annotate, Add Link. This time I'm going to pick something else. Uh, perhaps I'll just pick Crop Images down here. Again, I select it. I choose what kind of action I want. In this case, I want to make a link within the PDF. And now comes the slightly tricky part if I want it to go to page 2. This is only a two-page document, so I have limited choices. Now I need to actually navigate to page 2. And here in the Annotation Inspector, set the destination by clicking the button. The destination will now go to page 2. I can come back to page 1 now, and the destination is set that it will go to page 2. I'm going to close the Annotation Inspector. A couple more things. You might like to add a note to your document, perhaps a reference for yourself later on. Again, with the Text tool selected, come to the Tools menu, Annotate, Add Note. This changes the view of your document slightly. It moves over, exposing this area to the left where the notes will appear. Now all I need to do 
is actually click in the document and you can see that an icon appears in the document and a corresponding note over on the left. This is already set with my name, the date and the time. I can type myself a note here and that note is now saved in the document. I'm not a very good typist. This note has a particular icon but I can change which icon I want it to have. While it's still selected I go to the Tools menu, Inspector, and now you can see that the note is coloured yellow and it has a comment icon. I can change the colour easily by clicking on that colour panel there. The icon, comment, key, note, help and several others, you can choose whichever one you like. I'm happy with the help icon. Again I've selected some text, come to the tools menu, markup, I can highlight the text with a particular colour. Again the inspector allows me to change that colour to something else. With text selected I can come to the tools menu, I can perhaps strike through the text, perhaps underline the text and now all of those things have been applied to that one poor <laughs> unsuspecting word. If I now save my preview document with a different file name, close it, come back, open that new file, you can see that all of those changes have been applied. If I now click on this word preview, it opens up Safari and goes to apple.com, which is what I asked it to do and if I click on the crop images heading it takes me to page 2 of my preview. There's some pretty cool stuff it can do there.